So today we're going to look at how you can permanently remove your laptop from a certain Wi-Fi network. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can permanently remove your laptop or computer from a Wi-Fi network. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, in some cases, I have found that I've connected, say, into a neighbor's network. I've taken a laptop round to the neighbors. We've tried something on his network or her network. I've come back home and realize that my laptop is still connecting to the neighbor's network and not mine, but the neighbor's network has got a very, very weak signal. Obviously my printers don't work on my neighbor's network, my Wi-Fi printers, because they're not connected to my neighbor's network. And it's really unethical for me to be using that. So there's a couple of things we can do and I'm gonna go through them. So let's just go from the beginning. So if I click on the Wi-Fi icon just by the clock in the bottom right hand corner of the screen that's a left click then move my mouse up to the wi-fi symbol just there click on the arrow pointing to the right just beside the wi-fi symbol that should give us a list of wi-fi networks in the local area and hopefully the one at the top of the list should be the one that we're currently connected to and that should be denoted by the word connected and hopefully secured if your wi-fi has a password and hopefully they all should have a password by now so what we can do is we can click on disconnect. OK, and that disconnects us from that Wi-Fi network. And as you can see down there, yep, it's disconnected. But there could be times when it automatically reconnects to that network. And if I want to reconnect to it, all I need to do is again, click on the Wi-Fi symbol down there. Click on the, or the arrow just to the right of it and then click on the Wi-Fi network name and then just click the word connect and hopefully after a few seconds, it should connect. There we go. But what if I wanna remove it permanently? What if it keeps automatically connecting and I just wanna get rid of it? Then what you're gonna to need to do is, let's just go back to the beginning. So click on the Wi-Fi icon just down there in the bottom right-hand corner by the clock. That's a left click again. Click on the arrow just to the right of the Wi-Fi symbol up there in the top left-hand corner of the box that's appeared. This will bring up a list of Wi-Fi networks. Go to the one that you're connected to or the one that you wanna remove. Click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. And then move your mouse down to forget and left click once. And there we go. It's now disconnected. Now, if I find that Wi-Fi network and try to connect to it again, if I click on connect, they go, it asks for the password. So it's asking for the password for the network. It can't automatically connect. This is also useful, I suppose, if, for instance, you've taken in a friend's laptop to help him out with it and you're thinking, well, I don't want them to continually connect to my network. I don't want them to have the password stored on their laptop for my Wi-Fi. So there you go. You can, you can remove it that way. Now, if we go to, say, a network and right click on it and it doesn't have the word forget beside it and it only has connect like you can see there. Let's just try it on this one. It hasn't got the word forget on there. Now, that means that it has not been connected to the Wi-Fi network, that particular Wi-Fi network, or we've already forgotten the details. So the only way you can get back onto that Wi-Fi network is to type in the Wi-Fi password. And that Wi-Fi password can usually be found on the back top or underneath of your Wi-Fi router. So there you go. I hope you like this video. And if you did, then please, please, please consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or have a look down in the description down below. If you want to have a look through my Amazon shop, it's got all stuff in it that I've bought from Amazon and enjoyed from the past. I can recommend it. Or if you're looking for a VPN, a Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube, or anything else, then have a look. There's loads of links down below. If you're looking for Fire Stick accessories, we've got them down there too. 
buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might find something interesting on my channel, then please don't forget to share the videos on your social media timelines. Thanks very much for watching.